Iberian Airways flight 268 to Barcelona is now ready for boarding. Will all passengers for this flight proceed to gate 42? Just right into our hotel and it is super nice. I'll probably show you better in the morning when it's nice and bright, but um, we are staying at the Soho house. Hello! And it's gorgeous, really, really nice. Um, it's very Turkish, is what I would say. Um, bed, we went for like the smallest room they had but lots of really nice details. Have everything hanging up, lovely chandelier. Ooh. Anyway, so our plan now is, it's very late, it's like nine o'clock. So we're gonna go get some food. I'm not sure where we're eating yet, but um, they gave us a list of really nice places. But yeah, I will catch up with you in the morning and bring you along in our day. the three hour difference we went to sleep super late um but we woke it up and it's semi blue skies out there which i don't think you can see but yeah anyway um today well now we're gonna go downstairs to get a coffee then we're gonna go to the gym and I'm super excited to see the gym. Um, I love having a good perv of the whole hotel. And when we get out for a coffee, we're also gonna check out what the breakfast looks like. And then we'll decide whether we're gonna have breakfast here or whether we'll go out for breakfast. Um, I have a few spots saved. And then today, I think we're gonna go to a modern gallery and Connor's gonna help me check out which markets are good to go to. Bazaars, as they're called here. Um, Connor's naked. <laughs> um. So yeah, that's what we're doing today, and we booked into a, a restaurant tonight, and um, that looks really nice. Last night was really nice, um, and pretty cheap, I'd say. We had four drinks, loads of meze, and then a main meal each, and a dessert, I think it's 70 euro, I think. Pretty good. was unreal we actually want to move in um god it just makes such a difference having a nice gym uh, and i'm showered now i've brought all my little keels samples that i got from the christmas calendar they sent me which is great so i have just all the little serums and everything i'm going to try the vital skin strengthening super serum 
and then I'm going to try which I used to actually use the ultra facial cream and do my makeup do my hair and then we're gonna go to the Grand Bazaar and then we are going to oh we're gonna have food first then the Grand Bazaar and maybe the modern museum or gallery and yeah just kind of get to know the city a little bit today so that tomorrow we can be comfortable getting around um yeah first day in the city is always kind of a little bit you feel a little bit lost so it's good just to get your bearings first and then don't plan too much for the first day because i feel it's kind of exciting just getting to see what it's like but i will bring you on the journey I said I want you to organize the Grand Bazaar. And we have arrived at the Grand Bazaar. It is closed. shops we have a little bit more Christmas shopping to do so we'll do that and then uh, we'll go back to the hotel just to oh it's very dark just to have a bit of a rest before we go out for dinner we booked into a really nice place it looks fab and today was fun it was really nice just getting to know the city a little bit still a little bit um, not really knowing where we are but um, we got Ubers, a lot of it, so, so cheap. Um, and I've just got a notification from the other phone to say that my data is completely gone. So, um, annoying that we're outside of Europe, you forget. But it's definitely cold here and it doesn't feel European. It feels way more like you're in Poland or something. Um, but yeah, we've loved it so far. to go out for dinner i am wearing a white crop shirt my trench i'll try and show you later and it'll be on my instagram as well but we just had a bit of a rest and then we're gonna go for a drink and then go for dinner so i will bring you on i mm -hmm. 
Connor said his top five meal experiences ever had. I would have to say the same, and it was 65 euro. No joke. And as you can see from the photos and the videos, it was phenomenal. Like food I've never tasted or tastes I've never tasted before, and um, things that I'll probably never taste again, like gnocchi and calamari. It was ridiculously tasty and like spicy, just ridiculous. Anyway, um, I am just about to take off my makeup and I'm gonna be using, I'm really excited. Well, I'm using the cleanser from Kills and then the night oil from Kills as well. I'm really excited to use that. But I'm gonna use their lavender gentle cleanser um, first before I use the heels. Um, but we have done a little bit more planning for tomorrow, so I feel like tomorrow will be a little bit more structured. Today was a little bit all over the place. Um, and, but so far I am really loving it. Really loving how cheap it is. Everything, the people are so friendly and the um, service everywhere is like amazing. Uh, so yeah, we will, uh, I'll get Connor to like join me in a little bit of a rundown at the end um, of the holiday so that we can kind of recap what was our favourite but so far I am so impressed with how cool it is, how good quality the food, the drink, the like cultural scene is, the food scene, nightlife scene and how affordable and how much value you're getting for um, the money you're spending. Ubers are like a euro for a journey, for like a 10 minute journey. It's just insane. So uh, yeah, I will do that little bit of a run down on Tuesday, which is our last day. And, uh, but of course I will bring you along tomorrow. And until then, good night. your favourite part of the meal tonight? Really? Yeah. Oh, there's no box in the stomach, you know? Yeah, I know. I can see your butty. No, I can't. Don't worry. What was your favourite part of the meal? Willy. No, it wasn't Willy. It was. It wasn't. What was it? The octopus. No, the... I think, yeah, the gnocchi. The gnocchi. Or maybe either of the desserts were fucking brilliant. The second dessert I loved because I didn't expect it to be so good. Yeah. I thought the um, popcorn was a little bit soft. Yeah, got it. Yeah. It was the same texture as popcorn in a way. Yeah. <laughs> Having a good pick there. <laughs> oh, you're, you're so romantic. Oh. Okay. I love you. Good morning, everyone. It is day two in Istanbul, and I'm just doing my makeup. We are going to try for the second time to go to the Grand Bazaar because, as you know, yesterday it was closed. Connor's one job and um, yeah so today we'll go to the Grand Bazaar and we are we looked up the best kebab place in Istanbul and it's pretty north near there so um, we're gonna go there and that's kind of all we have planned today I went to Sephora yesterday I just wanted to show you I got my first Fenty Beauty product which I'm super excited about um, so I will show you how I use it so it's a cream, um, a cream bronzer basically. I'm really excited to see how it applies. I'm really liking this 
just very minimal color. I rebought my Benefit brow. Sorry, it's not um, focusing. Tap this to focus. It's being an asshole. Um, I got the Benefit brow again, and I also got a new lipstick, which I will show applying later. I actually saw this on Instagram. Somebody was doing an ad for it, and it's almost like a lip balm, a tinted lip balm. So it is Giorgio Armani. Uh, so I'm gonna try that as well, and I will show you how it looks. Let's try the um, Fenty uh, bronzer. I usually use the Refi cream bronzer, which I love. This one is kind of quite a, um, oh, they're kind of similar, but this one is more of a burnt, burnt brown, like way more summery, I feel. So I wanted something that was a little bit more neutral um, and less kind of orangey. So I am gonna just use my bronzer brush. Give you a better idea when I take a proper photo because in this light you probably can't see anything but it is oh my god really really nice really subtle on the jaw and then also on the bridge of my nose I like to put it just a little bit on each side so yeah I'll show you that in a while show you how it worked or it turned out um so the lighting here is pretty bad so I'm not gonna go through my makeup but I will show you afterwards in a photo and I will obviously bring you to the Grand Bazaar uh, and let's see if it's all it's made out to be Constantly. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit intense. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, just don't know where to go. It's very overwhelming and there's people shouting to sell at you all the time. Anyway, the bazaar was mental. Connor said he enjoyed it a little bit and I said, by a little bit you mean not at all because it was just being accosted. No, you can look at anything because all the shops were the same, it was all just fake everything, fake gold, fake carpets, fake bags um, and then we got lost and we couldn't get out so it was pretty stressful. Here are kebabs! Thank you! Mm. Delicious! This was as a promotion the end of my sex It seems to be so, yeah, that's it. If you have to district, it's like just chocolate block all the shops with sexy ombre. So I think Connor is trying to tell me something.
last day and it's such a nice day out. Sun is shining, it's always the way on your last day. We're meant to be going to the Hammam, the Turkish bath. I found this really good one, but we've gotten up kind of late and we also haven't packed and we have to check out at 12. And by the time we get back from the Hammam, it'll be like checkout time. So we're running, we're just, it would just be too much of a rush, which is kind of disappointing, but at the same time, not really in the mood for Hammam. Um, but I will put it in the description box, the um, place that we have booked, because it looked really good. Uh, we are going to pack now and then go for lunch in a place that is that was featured in Chef's Table and basically the one reason I wanted to come to Istanbul even though I'm so full from the last few days and all I want is like plain oats <laughs> um, but anyway I will take one for the team and goulet some Turkish kebab. Um, are you excited, Connor? Um, not massively. Yeah. yeah just what can help us. It's I hard. I when I'm hungry. It's very difficult. It's very difficult. It's very difficult being on holidays and having, such a hard life. having to enjoy yourself every day. <laughs> um. Anyway, and then that's it. Really, that's all we have planned. I don't want to leave the hotel, I loved it so much and yeah, we've even been talking about doing a membership for the Soho House because we love it so much. Um, I would very much recommend coming here. I think it's the only Soho House that you can actually stay without being a member which is interesting. I'm not really quite sure why but um, another excuse to come to Istanbul. <laughs> When you're going away for Christmas, would you bring the essentials? 